So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1131 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1131 code? Was well, a lack of upstream heated oxygen sensor, switch sensor indicates lean, bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into these cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in and this helps it do a few things. It helps go into what's called a closed loop quicker and the onboard computer seen a problem with these sensors so it's got to be troubleshooting to know why and what are some possible causes of a 4p1131 code well it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring could be a blown fuse could be an exhaust leak so be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks going on since that can throw off these sensors and it's also possible that the engine's running lean on bank one and so while the first thing to go and check is going to be the oxygen sensor keep in mind that it might not be the oxygen sensor that might be something else going on with the engine that's causing bank one to run lean and that would be a separate problem that'd be something like a MAF sensor low fuel pressure a vacuum leak something like that but the first thing to do when you get this code is to go examine this upstream oxygen sensor on bank one and bank one is the side of the engine that always has the number one cylinder so if you find the number one cylinder that's going to be bank one and then the opposite of that's going to be bank two and when they're saying upstream sensor it's going to be the sensor one or the first sensor going down on the exhaust it's going to be the one before the catalytic converter Sensor 2 will be the one after the catalytic converter and called the downstream. Sensor 1 is called the upstream and it's before the catalytic converter. It's always a good idea if you can to go get a layout of a diagram where all the sensors are located. It makes things easier. For example, here's a 2007 Ford F-150 with the 4.6 liter engine. And right here would be the bank 1, sensor 1, upstream oxygen sensor. And so the first thing to go and do is to locate this bank 1, sensor 1, oxygen sensor. And then once you locate it, the next thing to do, check out this wiring real good. Be sure everything's plugged in. There's no open open shorts anything like that basically keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor also keep in mind that these are going to be on a fuse it can be kind of vague sometimes which fuse they're on for example here's a 2018 ford mustang and it would be inside the engine bay fuse box fuse number 40 that would be for the oxygen sensors so that's something to keep in mind and so if you check out the wiring that all looks good there's no blown fuses or anything like that then the next thing to do is to either test or replace that oxygen sensor. Basically what's going on with these, you have two color wires that are for the heater element, and then the mismatch wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor side. I made a video on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing to do is either test or replace that bank one upstream sensor one oxygen sensor. One thing to mention about these oxygen sensors is that sometimes you need a special tool to get them out. Not all the time. Sometimes you get to them without a special tool, but like right here, this is recessed down into the exhaust. And so you need this special tool to get around that wire and to go in there and get them back in. It can vary a bit. Sometimes they'll be out in the open, but basically go and look at it because you might need that special tool to get around that wire and get them back in. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what that special tool is. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1131 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.